Regreso aquí en Auto 060 con el especial del Auto Show de Chicago y rápidamente vamos a pasar con Fred Díaz de Nissan para hablar de la Nissan Frontier Diesel en el Auto Show de Chicago. Well, first of all, uh, thank you for Nissan for hosting us here at the Chicago Auto Show. We've mm -hmm. been driving around in the new NV taxi of uh, New York yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Chicago, but like yeah. draws a lot of attention, yeah. uh, which is great. Thank you for that. So, and then you're here presenting um, a concept car, but it's not like a crazy concept car. It's something that it's very unique because it's under the hood, basically, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's why we're not calling it a concept car. We're calling it a technical study because essentially what we're doing is we're changing the drivetrain of this vehicle and doing some things to the outside that make it a little more uh, um, aesthetically pleasing. And we essentially just want to gauge, uh, gauge consumer interest in this truck and, and find out if it is something that, that they would be interested with the Cummins engine in a Frontier truck. Yeah, the Frontier truck. And uh, this is a very important segment that, that Nissan has been there like forever. I mean, like from it's the an, 50s, it's right? A, the midsize truck segment is an important segment that we've been in for, for many, many years, and we never exited. We never gave up on the segment, and we intend to get stronger and, and, uh, and louder in that segment with these new trucks. Yeah, and I understand that it's going to be a unique approach also to like find out how people react to this, right? Exactly. We, we want our, our consumers out there in the public to tell us on Facebook and, and Twitter and let us know what they think about the new concept truck and if this is something they want us to bring to market yeah and um, so they go through you know, the Facebook page for Nissan or how, how's that gonna work exactly yeah they can go to Nissan.com and they'll be able to see the appropriate links to be able to go in and, and tell us what they think about it yeah well the, the diesel I mean my, my own opinion here diesel is becoming very popular because it gives you a lot of uh, good performance a lot of torque and a uh, very I mean it's, it's cheaper in the long term right you bet you bet it is it, it does give you Uh, that with, made it with an eight-speed transmission gives you tons of increased fuel economy. Uh, we a anticipate that this is going to give us somewhere between 30 and 35 percent increase in fuel economy, which is what customers are looking for these days. They don't want to sacrifice capability, but they do insist on better fuel economy. Okay. So uh, how long this campaign will be, like uh, uh, gathering information from the public? We're going to run it until we feel like we got the, enough information to decide whether or not it's a success so that we can process that information and decide to go. We haven't we haven't determined a definitive timeline yet. And when uh, when the the social blogosphere start to show less and less information and we think we've gotten enough then we'll stop it. Excellent. Well good luck with that. I think my personal opinion again I think is a hit. Thank, Thank you very you much. Very much. Thank Appreciate you very much. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.